Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Recollection with you, Mr. Tim again. Okay guys, today I interviewed one of the teachers of the Next Legacy and I asked some questions and I think it would be really interesting for you, just check it out. Frank? Hey, hello brother, what's up? Uh, great, how's it going? Everything's cool, thanks. What about you? I'm, I'm cool, you know. Uh, today we in uh, Max Legacy, yes, in exactly. the Education Center. You know, and I want to like uh, interview one of the, maybe, I don't know, maybe he's popular. But, you know, uh, Frank, I have some questions. All right. Can I ask, you know, if you don't mind, uh, I want to ask something really interesting for me. Okay. Uh, you, you know, we know each other for, from the three or four years. So I met you in a speaking club. It was a really cool time. And you know, uh, at the time I was surprised by your speech. I mean, you know, you didn't care about others' opinion. I mean, yeah, exactly. you, you were like, how can I say, you were free when you speak when, and you didn't, didn't care about your mistakes. And how you manage this uh, character? I mean, just characteristics, maybe, for example, you know, some people are really shy about speaking in English because all the time they th think about their mistakes. What can you say about something, um, about this, you know? Uh, all right. First of all, thanks for your question. I really appreciate it. Well, when it comes to my speech, especially when I was in the library, yeah? I can vividly remember when I was learning English and I started from scratch. When I went there for the, for the first time, I'm in library, I didn't know English at all. And uh, as you remember, um, I was trying to speak somehow and I find out that most people knew English but they couldn't express themselves. Yeah, sure. And I surprised it. Why? Why the hell is this? And I found, uh, and I thought that it's not about language, it's not about method, and I thought it was about, let's say, emotions, beliefs, yeah. and I mean, non-linguistic factors. What are these? Are your emotions, your beliefs, your confidence, you know? And even though I knew, you know, just a little bit, I just tried to speak, I couldn't let's say, uh, I didn't, I didn't stop myself, I tried to feel free, and the more I spoke, the more I learned it from others, that's the, that's the only way that we can improve our speaking, and uh, uh, as a, uh, now, now as a teacher, uh, uh, from my experience, you know, uh, I found out that most of, most of us, most students, yeah, they have only one problem, mm -hmm. Their problem is fear of making mistakes. Sure. That's the biggest problem that I have ever, you know, seen as a teacher. And I, when, they, when, when they come, I firstly try to eradicate their negative thinking, you know. I try to get rid of their uh, limiting beliefs. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, speaking is not about, you know, grammar rules. It's not about tests. It's all about your emotions. Your, how can you express yourself, you know, your intonation, your voice, your body language, yeah? yeah? So, that's why, what I mean is, if you have desire to speak, if you want to speak like a native speaker, yeah? If you want to speak fluently, you should speak. That's the only way we can improve. And you should have faith in yourself. Never, ever underestimate yourself, uh, guys. Uh, yes, I know there are a lot of people who are trying to learn, uh, especially speaking, yeah, not the grammar rules, yeah, please don't, let's say, pay attention to other people's opinion, yeah, because uh, that's, the, that's the way I did, you know, I didn't pay, pay attention. Mm -hmm. If I did so, I couldn't, you know, improve my speaking skills, I couldn't improve my other skills too. So, uh, that's what I'm trying to say, I mean, we should just speak. Mm -hmm. Only way we can improve our speaking is just speaking. Yeah, sure. Thank you for answer. It was like a really useful, I think. Right. You know, uh, the second question, uh, I think a lot of people interested about it because 
uh, you know uh, nowadays a lot of people are like uh, not only I mean uh, I mean a lot of people uh, are trying to move I mean to another country in order to study in order to work and uh, I think uh, it would be interesting okay uh, I heard that uh, you are planning to go to London. Yes, of course. And what's your expectation about going there, moving wow. there? I mean, hmm. well, to be, to be quite honest with you, you know, uh, I'm planning to go to London, of course, uh, at the end of this year. I hope, and uh, and I hope I'm gonna start my life from scratch. You know, I want to change. I want to open a new chapter of my life, you know. Yeah. I I know it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, there will be some hardships, obstacles, but I'm ready to face them. And uh, when it comes to studying abroad, yeah, I'm, to be honest, I've already studied here in Uzbekistan. Yeah, that's great. That was great experience. And now. I'm, t I'm, I'm trying to, you know, expand my comfort zone mm -hmm. and I'm gonna, th I'm gonna see new things, I'm gonna explore the world, you know, that's why I'm trying to study abroad, especially in London, yeah, there yeah. are other reasons, but why I choose the London, UK especially, mm -hmm. yeah, because I love their culture and, uh, of course, I love football, you know, that's yeah. the one reason that I Wanna, that I want to yes. go there, and uh, of course music. And you want to travel at the same yes, time. I want to try to be a musician. I want to try to be a football player. Wow, you know? Yes. Maybe it sounds crazy, but as long as I, I am breathing, you know, as long as I uh, let's say I have I have belief, I will try. Sure. Okay. Thank you. You know, the last question is. What would you recommend to those uh, who want to study in London? You know, you know better than me that it's really expensive. And yes. what would you recommend to those people? Because they tend to just give up, you know. They, they just uh, don't want to go there because of cost of this, I mean, yeah. studying. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's a tough one, you know. That's a tough question because uh, it was hard to, you know, make up my mind to go to London because I also have you know kind of problems when it comes to financial I mean side well uh, of course as a matter of fact we have a lot of students who are you know intelligent who are capable of you know doing anything but unfortunately unfortunately when it comes to financial side they have, they have problem so but anyway uh, guys I would recommend you to try at least you should try don't give up without fight that's what my teacher always said and uh, we should try to do things you know we should try to uh, do to do things which scares us you know mm. yeah? and uh, there's also one saying if your uh, dream doesn't scare you it's not big enough yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. that's why I try to dream big, you know, maybe it sounds crazy, maybe it sounds stupid for others, but I do believe that I will achieve one day. So, uh, if you play it safe, guys, if you don't go out of your comfort zone, you will never able to improve yourself as a human, as a, you know, student, as a, as a normal human, yes. That's why, please, just, you should take risk. Yeah, we, sh we shouldn't stop taking risks. That's my opinion, of course, but that's my opinion. That's what I can recommend uh, for those who are trying to study abroad. Especially my, for my students, I also recommend this, you know. They always say, Frank, uh, what do you think? Uh, which one is better? Studying in Korea, studying in China, or studying in Europe? And I say, listen to your heart, of course, look at your pocket, yes? And uh, yeah. which choice is suitable for you? Yeah, which uh, let's say which one is appropriate for you? Just choose it and never regret it and go ahead. Yeah, that's what I did, and I chose the of course UK. I hope for some good reasons, and uh, 
I think they also should choose one place. It can be anywhere, anything. So they should follow their dreams. Okay, Frank, I want to just uh, wish you good luck. You know, I, I think it uh, will be a little bit difficult because anyway, I heard that uh, in London, like uh, cost uh, of living is really high. But anyway, I wish you luck yeah. and uh, be persistent in doing something. I think you can achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah, Thank thanks. you, man. Thanks, brother. I know it's, it's going to be hard. Yes, but I, I hope I also will yes. endure this, you know. I, yeah, I, also feel I will be happy for you. Man. Yeah, just, thanks, bro. Uh, and just by the way, uh, best of luck for your, you know, projection, yeah? Yes, thank you. Yeah, good luck, bro. Thanks thank for coming. Thank you very much. Yes.